It is no longer safe to go to the movie theaters. I am now afraid of my life to go to a movie theater. And I have not been afraid to step foot into a movie theater since I saw Scream 2 for the first time. Well, actually, movie theater bathrooms. But that's not the point. The fact is, now I have to go into the theater afraid somebody's going to pop out the back and do something crazy. Because that man that shot all those people in Colorado... I'm sorry, you just you just ruined my, my movie going experience. And I wasn't even there. This guy just decides he wants to pop his ass through the emergency exit with a gas mask, a shotgun, rifle, handgun, and just start firing shots at people. And then, when he's done in the theater, he wants to go out and just shoot random people in the lobby and stuff. What is... what? What is happening to the world? Like, is this really the the end of our days? Like, is it really? I. What 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 possessed this guy to just go up in this theater and just let off all these shots on these people? First of all, no. First of all, how did he get into the theater? That's what I want to know. Just. How did he get into the theater? There is no way in hell he could have walked through the front door with a rifle and a shotgun sporting any type of mask because they would not have let his ass into the theater. He, they said he came in through an emergency exit to get into the theater, those little emergency exits by the screen. Okay, but who let him in there? He had to have some type of access to the theater to get in there with those guns undetected. I'm thinking that somebody let him in. He may have done the shooting all by himself, but somebody, I'm sorry, somebody had to let him in to where he got in with all those big guns because those are, a shotgun and a rifle are big guns. There is no way in hell you can get in a theater and not be seen with that. You can't hide that stuff. Not even in a backpack or none of that. You can't hide that. They won't even let you bring that type of stuff in a theater. So how did he get in there with that stuff? Tear gas? Wearing a mask? Who would have to take that off if he went through the front door? So he didn't go in through the front or through a main entrance. Somebody let him in through the back. Had to be. I know that there was no side door or anything of that left open. The chances of that happening are slim to none. So, who let him in there? And then the youngest, the youngest um, victim was a three-month-old baby. That is sad. That is sad. That baby didn't even get to live no type of life at all but why was a three month old baby at a midnight screening of the dark knight rises where what the parents really could not wait to see this movie that they, they had to drag their three month old baby at a midnight screening of this movie you couldn't get a babysitter or none of that like it was that serious for you to see this movie to bring your baby Too much shit is going on in the world today. This shooting. People eating people's faces in Miami butt ass naked. And I'm not trying to make a joke out of this. It's really too much shit going on. Like it is way too much stuff going on that's just like us as we as American citizens we have abused our second amendment right to bear arms one too many times i don't think i really don't think anybody should be able to carry a gun anywhere anymore you should not be able to own a gun like no fuck protection and all of that because people are abusing that people are really abusing that guns are supposed to be for protection but people are using it to go shoot up schools and shoot up theaters shoot up churches and chapels and all type of crazy shit. 
And then people on Twitter are making jokes about this. Talking about um, Batman, see it or die trying. You're ignorant as fuck. You're heartless. Like, why are you making jokes about this? This just happened. This just happened. Like, not even 24 hours ago, this just happened. And you're making jokes? Like, that could have easily... A three-month-old baby died. That could have easily been any of us in any theater in this country. And you're making jokes? The world is a sad, sad place. And just today, everybody, just make this a day about prayer and reflection. Like Obama said in his CNN report today, this should be a day of prayer and reflection. Pray for all the people that were injured. Pray for the people, for the families that lost people in this shooting. And just sit down for a moment and reflect on your life. Reflect on what's going on in your life, what's going on in other people's lives. Take the time to actually go out and hug somebody that you really care about because tomorrow isn't guaranteed. The next hour, the next minute isn't guaranteed. You can lose somebody just like that and I'm pretty sure that nobody was expecting to lose their lives in that theater not at all so pray reflect and just be appreciative of everything that you have right now because you have a lot more than what you think 